Thomas Badger Ward, tune in the Sport and Icons. All right, Tommy, take two, three, I don't know. How are you? Yeah, very well, thank you. you? I'm good, thank you very much. How are you going with the press today? You enjoy it? Yeah, it was a good press today. Um, like I said, look at the talent sitting on the top table. You know, some great talent there, some great, good fights. You know, all the guys coming over there, they all look up for it and they're all ready, they're hungry, ready to go. So, yeah. like I said, the fans is the winners on Saturday night. You know, they've got a great show there. Pro Bellium, Phil Jeffries put on a fantastic show, I think. And it's going to be great on Saturday night. That's what I was thinking when the show was announced. I was thinking, right in Arena, it's a bit small for that, but credit to them for actually put it in there. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. I, I thought it would have been a bit small, to be honest. And I think if it was a big arena, I think it would be a sellout as well. Yeah. It is a small arena, it will be a sellout, but the atmosphere is going to be great. So, you know, I think um, I think just come up there, put a great show on, it'll be a great night, and then 2022, they'll probably expand and get a bit bigger. Now, you announced at the press conference that you're going to be fighting a featherweight now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that going to be continuous? Are you looking to go up again at some point? or Probably Strike McGrew will go up again. But uh, at the minute, no featherweight be, be the way now. Um, obviously, I'm fighting a, a, a ranked featherweight there in, uh, in, on Saturday night. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I'm just looking for the opportunity for the world title fights. You seem to be chasing never out don't you? The reason why, listen, he's a great fighter. And there's, no, there's no disrespect there at all. He's, you know, what he's done is fantastic. Nobody wants to fight him. Yeah. I'll fight him. Well, you remember when I when I'm up at that post and um, I said to him to fight you, and he went, "Yeah." Yeah. Then he just went quiet, didn't he? Didn't fight. Yeah. So no one wants to fight him. You want to fight him, but yet he doesn't want to fight you for some reason. I think that's just the way of me. I think when they look at me and look at me style, they know it's going to be a tricky and hard night. Um, so what they've got to lose and what they've got to gain, I think the way of that there, and they'd, they'd rather someone who just stands flat-footed in front of them so they can bash up. But then the day, I mean, you've been ranked high enough now for a long um, time. And um, I've seen last time that uh, you actually leapfrogged because the WBC and IBF put two managers together. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Leap, which I thought was wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Daniel Roman, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Who lost only two fights ago? Exactly. I mean, that's the bit. I, I was sat there for that long, and like I said, the 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 champions just put other fighters except me, and then I've still never got mandatory anyway. Even though I was number one spot for a long time, I was number one, two, and three at one point. So. It's like, like, what do you do? But then, I don't know, it's just, it's, it is what it is. Boxing politics, I mean, they should have just made you best Daniel Roman for final eliminator. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Because you've never been one to turn down a challenge. No, it's mean, like, I just, whoever's got to be, whoever's got to fight, it's, it is what it is. It's just fight. It's a gentleman sport. Best man wins, sure can, walk away. That's the thing, because you beat uh, Jazz Dickens, you've, you've been British champion, all these kind of things, and are you still waiting? I'm, I'm sure you're getting pissed off with it all now, surely. You do, I was just talking about that there a minute ago, but it's just, it's just your mindset, you've got to have a strong mindset and just to deal with it. I know and the opportunities will come, so. Yeah. So it was, if I probably got beat two or three times, I probably would have more opportunities than what I have now. Yeah. But yeah, maybe. It is what it is. Yeah, but don't do that though. Oh, no, definitely not. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. We keep on winning. <laughs> That's it, although your draw, I mean, that was probably the best of him and the worst of you, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. We're just talking about that again. Is, uh, yeah, he boxed a really good fight and I, I was terrible. Uh, making weight. Probably made the weight wrong that time. It was very bad. I uh, didn't feel good. And then been locked in the hotel for for a week. You right. know, I was like, I've never been to prison, but it was like a prison. Right. You know, you just went to come out and went to go in, and just just all didn't sit right with your mind and everything. It just it was it wasn't very nice. It was horrible. Yeah. Are you actually with Probellum now? Are you signed to Probellum? I'm not officially signed with them. No, uh, I'm fighting on the show. Um, see how it goes. Yeah. Well, and well, I'm in the best of luck. I'll see you at the way in tomorrow anyway. Thank you very much. Spot icons. No worries.